guys welcome back to the channel so here we are in previous video as we have seen we developed a background activity manager background and foreground activity manager so now today we are going to build build i can say a feedback which which is required in alpha or beta testing so it will be a basic model or screen or i can say widget which will work for uh, work for the apps or will will help you get feedback better from from the users so for that we are going to add plugins in our postfect.yaml so first one is feedback similarly second one is flutter email sender so this plugin is basically for sending us the email from our user or our tester about what things they find annoying or they find it not right or what their suggestions are and last one is our provider this is just to store the feedback of user or the image part So now we are going to Flutter populate them. Now once we do that, we have to also add some basic lines in our Android manifesto, Android manifest.xml. So we require queries. And then we require intent. Here the action. And Android. Is equal to Android dot intent dot send. Oh, sorry, action dot send. And their mime type will be any data or any file with any name and extension. Now, once we do that, we are now ready to work with our main dot dot. Before that, just run it. One eternity later. Okay, so this is our UI which we developed in our previous video. Now here we are going to create one more function. It will be of type future string. It will take an image in a unit list format. It will be used. 
was first storing the screenshot of that. So we are just naming those variables like this. Now we are, we are going to get the directory so where we have to store the image. Once we do that, we can store that variable in screenshot file. Now uh, we have initialized a screenshot file variable where we are going to write this data. And we are going to return this variable. Once we do that, we are ready to work with our scaffold widget. Here in Amba, we have to create uh, an object of Amba where we are going to use actions. To trigger our feedback. will be of feedback and on pressed we are going to you we are going to trigger the feedback UI so before that we have to surround our home widget with feedback with feedback widget now here we are going to trigger that Yeah, we are going to call the show function. path and 
and we are going to create a email object where we are going to enter the email details on we want to email Body we are going to put the feedback text. Subject will be app feedback. And recipients here it requires array of string. So now here I am going to not enter my email but here there will be some kind of email and then let's say for example xyz and the red here we have to attach screenshot So we forget you have to make it await. And is it HTML? So now we are going to make it false, it's not HTML. And now we are going to await. Flutter email sender. Send email. And now, if we refresh this UI, you are going to see those changes here. So now, if we click on this icon you can see here I can draw and write it is not working and once I submit this it will just send it there So once you share this, you can see it working. Okay, thank you guys. Subscribe.